Hey, Lego people. We're going to take a stroll down Batman Lane. Hee <laughs> hee. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for coming to watch another video. This one's going to be super cool. Well, it's going to be dark and gray and raw. Um, I know that I touched on these, um, these special Batman minifigs in my haul video. Uh, but I just figured that I would give you all a closer look because these guys are going to become very, um, important. They're going to just, this one, uh, this one was not in my haul. This one right here. Mew, mew, mew. This one came in the set that I got with these guys, Raja Ghoul and Talia Ghoul and little Batman there. So these guys all came together in a set. Um, but these ones are all the ones that I got in my haul purposefully to put in my bat cave which is what we're going to talk about today so basically here's all my cool batmans these are all my regular well these are not all my regular batmans but these are a bunch of my regular batmans and then i probably have maybe 20 more um you know, just like wandering around in cars and in the city and all that good stuff. Um, I actually am thinking about starting a Batman army. I don't know. What do you guys think? Batman army? Yay? Nay? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think because I would be super, like, I think it would be super cool to do a Batman army. So, yeah, let me know. Um, all right. So anyway, on to the main event. We have a box here full of murps and burps and lurps and twerps and blah 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 blurps so we have a box of these here and this is just basically like rock pieces and stuff um but then here is what i have this here is what i have for my bat cave like literally and in this here all right i'm gonna be doing so much rock work um these pieces here, uh, you know, for the floor, I think this piece here has got to be like one of my favorite Lego piece. I don't know why, but I just, I really like this piece. Um, and then we got, you know, just a bunch of stuff, a bunch of slopes, regular and inverted, both of them in all sizes, one by ones or one by twos, two by twos, one by threes, all, you know, two tall ones, short ones, long ones. Skinny ones, fat ones, all the ones. Everybody's included. And we also have some tans and some browns um, in there because I'm going to incorporate the Bat Cave set that just came out this year. And this set here is the set that I got with the Rajagul. And this is going to be included as well. Uh, here's part of the Bat Cave set that came out. Here's part of it. So all this is going to, you know, go in. So since these are all tans and stuff, I figured it would be cool to just incorporate some of that in the like main Bat Cave too. But as you can tell, the majority of it is going to be in the dark and the light grays. Um, I ordered a bunch of really cool pieces off of Bricklink. I got some tiled pieces here. Uh, I got this tile piece over here. I got some little itty bitties. And as I move along, I'm sure that I'll like figure out other stuff that I want to get and just, you know, place some more orders. I got this large printed piece that came from a different Bat Cave set that I don't have. Um, but I really liked this piece and I thought it would be able to go in really well. I also got, um, a bunch of these in the like metallic like pearl black color i thought that was a really nice color um and i got a couple sticker sheets which is definitely weird for me i don't usually just buy sticker sheets to purposefully put stickers on things um but i thought that it would put some nice touches on stuff throughout the build so here's one sticker sheet that i got and then the other one was a little bent so i have it over here in this book, flattening out. Let's see, there it is. This is my really cool, like, creepy, creepy ass hardcover comic book Joker and Harley. It's like, I've, I've got like five pages in, but already it's nuts. Um, <laughs> so, okay. And then I got this sticker sheet here. Um, this one just looked really cool too. So hopefully I'll be able to use these or I'll figure out some nice 
nice ways to use these. So I don't know. I, I was excited to buy some sticker sheets, try something new, right? So I'm going to take all these pieces and we're going to make a back cave and it's going to go down in here. So the plan is for it to be four base plates wide by two base plates deep. So right now I have three base plates wide and then I have one base plate coming out. I'm doing this in mills. Um, I know that the wildlife area, I, well, I'm not doing in mills. I'm not millsing that entire area. That's To me, that's just nuts. But this area is going to be on mills just because there's more of a chance that I would pick this up, move it around, put it in different places of the city, or want to work on it, change it, improve it, add to it, any of that. With the wildlife area, that I can do with it staying right where it is. Um, but, I mean, obviously, I can't pick the back cave up and put it in a different part of the city or under a different area of the tables, you know, as easy as if it was on mills. So to me, it just makes more sense to put this, this project um, on mills plates. So, and that way if it ever is going to like come up and be in the main part of the city, who knows what kind of weird something I could co concoct in the future. Um, but yeah, then it would, it would match the height you know, of the other, of the other parts of the city. Um, so that's about what we got right now. I just kind of wanted to show you guys all the pieces and kind of where we're going to start. And I'll check in with you in a, you know, in a little bit, a couple hours when I get some stuff done. And, uh, <clears throat> and then we'll, we'll, I'll show you how many pieces I got left and all that good stuff. Um, also, if you see these yellow bricks here, right? So this is going to be how tall it's going to be. So we got four base plates by two base plates. Uh, and then on top of them, we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26 bricks tall on top of the mills plate. Jeez, I feel like the count from Sesame Street. One, ha 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 ha. And then like, where's the thunder and lightning, right? Okay, that's enough of that. All right, I'm gonna go get to work on this. Wish me luck, guys. This is gonna be like another super huge project, but I'm so happy with the wildlife area and what I was able to do there that I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to accomplish the same amount of coolness. Um, it's definitely not gonna be as colorful though, um, but the same amount of detail, the same amount of coolness I'm hoping I'll be able to achieve in this area as well. I'm so excited to get going on this. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned, hold your breath. I'll be back in just a bit. Alrighty, bat boys and girls, here we are so far. Man, I'll tell you, rock work takes a lot of time. So I'm just going to kind of scroll you through where we're at and what we've gotten done. And then we will talk a little bit about what the plans are to keep going and what we have so i can tell you right now what i've made so you can see all the rock work in here right and there's there's a little bat up there hanging from up there he um so this is all just straight up rock work okay and then when we get and it's not white it's light gray and dark gray but the lighting is a little weird um there maybe that's a little better and then when we get to kind of like over here, you can tell that like I started in this area, I was using some of the, the, the burps um, and stuff. But what I did is I, I textured it as much as I could and I did put some, some slopes on the bottom to kind of make it seem as, as authentically rocky as possible. And you can see up at the top, it carries all the way through. And I'm still going to texture, you know, more in here. But I'm telling you, 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 you go through a lot of pieces. So here we go through. This is about one, two, and a, this is about two and a half base plates. And then I left a little space. This is going to be the doorway for where people come through right here. Okay. And then we kept going. We have some more rock stuff all the way across. And then we corner off again. And this is the whole length for base plates. And then this is where the car is going to come in. 
Okay, so the car is going to come in from this area, which is going to be over there. All right. And then we have a partial of the second level here. I just haven't filled it all in on this side. I got to build these up a little bit more. And then I need some more of these um, large plates. So these I have in yellow and I have in black. And I'm thinking that the black looks really good on the bottom. And I might do like yellow on the top but i'm not sure let me know what you think comments below of course on everything on everything you see things i've missed things i've hit things i need um anything let me know so we got stairs here and this is going to be to go up to the second level and like none of the like this is all just prototype okay guys this is all just kind of like okay this is about where i want the level to be and this is this is where the third level is going to go because then once you hit the top all right so this is as tall uh, this is as tall as the whole thing can be this okay so if we take this over here on top of the on top of the mills okay so we're looking at i'd be able to get about that much of a third level in okay so that's about two four six eight, nine bricks and two plates worth of height that I could have for the third level, okay? And I want to be able to fit in as much as I can, so so I got to kind of keep... I got to keep that in mind throughout the entire build. Like, what am I doing and and where is it, you know, where where am I, you know, height-wise and, uh, you know, and all that good stuff. So this is where we are so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you down and I'm going to put this in its place and then we're going to talk about where we're going to go from here and all the things that I've had to order already so hang tight all right so it's kind of dark down here but I mean it is a cave so that's how it's supposed to be but as you can see so we have the uh the second row of base plates coming out and we're gonna have four across all the way over here so we have one with water in here um and you can see here's the car that's gonna come in and it's gonna fit in through here and then it's gonna end up sitting up on top of this this here now i'm a little um undecided on where the water is actually going to be as far as in the cave and you know where i'm going to be putting the water so if you guys have any suggestions or anything like that please let me know um, i am kind of winging this as i go um, but it is going to fill out so all the rock is going to go straight up to the top right so you can see it's going to fill like right there you know that that's you don't see through that that's straight rock and it's going to go all the way up to the top just like that and you can see our our height meter right there right and it's getting literally it's going to be right to where it can't fit no more and it's going to come all the way through and the rocks are going to go all the way up on all of it except for you know like the front so i can get in and do stuff um but then these are some of the things that are going to be going in so i got the tools i got the map i got just some other things i got a secondary map and then remember all the other pieces i had as well guys i got the sticker sheets and i got you know a lot more rock pieces i want this in here um i got a lazarus pit i have some other staircases and some stuff that came from the new bat the new bat cave set um I want to incorporate as much as I can in here to, you know, just kind of like bring everything that I can. Now up here, what I'm going to do, I'm thinking is uh, this is where all the, and they're not going to be in the front, right? They're going to go along the back wall, but it's going to be all of these. All of these special bat suits, right? They're going to go all across the back wall. And I don't know if I want to do them with these rounded pieces here. These are the, the rounded pieces. Um, or if I want to just do like straight pieces like they do for the Iron Man armory. Let me know what you guys think. Rounded or square? Leave a comment below. I have plenty of each. Um, but what do you think would look better? Definitely, you know, I'm open to all the suggestions. But I'm, that's what's going to go... So so if this is the height of the second floor, right, and I get all this stuff in here, which is going to be his back computer and all that, and you can see that he's already hard at work. Um, but when I hit the third floor, this is going to be about the height that I get is basically just for the minifigs to go straight across, right, and then just some other, you know, smaller 
her things. Now, I also have to fit everything else in here, like the giant penny and the dinosaur and the big joker card and stuff like that. That's all going to be going in here, too. It just needs to find a home, and I need to build it. Um, so this is where we are so far. I'm actually pretty happy. Um, I have had to buy a lot more stuff. Let me show you that real quick, and then we'll be done. All right. Here is more rock work pieces. And I know, guys, I showed you what I had at the beginning of the actual video. Um, and this is, it, it kind of looks like more than what I had straight up at the beginning, right? Yeah, well, let me tell you, I ran out of these, fully ran out of these, had to buy all new ones inverted and regular. Um, I was basically out of these in the dark bluish gray, so had to get a whole bunch more of them. Um, I did buy a bunch of these little like teeth hand pieces just because I thought they look really cool like, um, you know, at the at the bottom or maybe, you know, on flat on the wall somewhere. And then I wanted to get a bunch of these like kind of upside down slopes because I thought they could add something really cool. So I actually ended up buying a ton more. So I used everything you see in there and then I bought probably two times what I had. So you can tell that I'm serious about getting this done and I want to get it done right. And it's going to take a lot of rock work pieces. Thank God for lists on BrickLink, right? All right, guys, so that is what we got for now. Stay tuned. There will be more. I'm going to be working on this all weekend. Um, and then I also have a couple other little things, um, you know, that I want to keep working on, too. I got more stuff for the... Uh, the the wildlife area i got a black panther i got a bear i got i got a couple cool things that i want to build and some little animals i want to put in there so that i'm going to keep going on the retaining wall i'm working on for right next to the graffiti wall um i got a crap ton of pieces in so that i can finish doing all the roads and mills um yeah, so lots of projects going on. But this one's gonna be this one's gonna be front and center for a little bit. Um, so guys, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Is it good? Is it not good? Am I forgetting anything? Am I hitting everything on the head? Do you want to see you know anything different? Am I totally screwing it up? Please let me know. And uh, also, guys, if you like this kind of thing and you're having fun. Please hit the like, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the really cool projects that I got coming up, um, you know, and I'd love to take you along with me. And then also I have been uh, streaming over on Twitch and here on YouTube, uh, but I've recently made affiliate on Twitch. So that's been like getting really a little extra hype and a little extra energy, chaos and all kinds of fun. So definitely that link will be in the description of the video too. Check that out if you want to. I'd super appreciate it. You know, if you, if you like this stuff, if you want to follow me along, I'd love to have you. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, follow, share, do all the youtube -y things. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time and you'll come back for more. But until then, guys, it is just my bricks. Lots of Batmans. And me. Bye, guys.